Hi hey everyone, this is James from Anemone Aquascape Gallery. Um, I've been kind of getting behind schedule with filming and maintenance, so I thought I'd try to get both of them done at the same time and make kind of a vlog style video um, going through all the maintenance that I'm doing tonight. So um, <laughs> I'll start with the simple. I had. Um, with my 120 centimeter, the CO2 tank goes empty pretty quickly. So I had gotten a new tank refilled and um, unfortunately I messed with the regulator and um, as you can see, the CO2 level is considerably higher than it was before. And um, that's after just one day too. So um, kind of reset the whole thing. In case you never used one of these of course it's attached here, this is opened. I try to get the main regulator set to about 30 PSI and then you can turn the bubble counter. And um, this is the only tank I have that doesn't run CO2 24-7. Um, the other bubble counters I have are running really slowly. Um, this one's considerably faster but I almost feel like with the 120 centimeter, you have to get it to the point where you're not even able to count the bubbles anymore. So, kind of just going to have to guess and wing it and see what it's going to look like tomorrow. Thankfully, the tank itself is doing really great. Um, going to be due for a huge trimming. I haven't trimmed the Monte Carlo in a while and haven't trimmed the pearl weed. Well, that's not true. I did trim it last week, but as you can see, it needs another trimming again. Um, but that's not the main focus. Tonight, I got to focus on this tank here. Um, I'm almost embarrassed to show it because it's looking absolutely horrendous. I'll just show you some of the algae. I wish I could just say like, oh, I just fell behind on maintenance and it, you know, turned out like this, but I haven't fallen behind at all. It's just um, took a huge turn for the worse in the last few weeks and uh, I'm not really sure what to do with it. <laughs> at first it looked like it was just diatoms coming in really late, but this is definitely a lot more than just the diatom. The Marsilia is completely covered in algae now. So I think tonight the main idea is going to be um, trying to do a big water change on it, clean off some of the rocks again and the glass, maybe trim back some of the dead plant growth. The problem is I can't really do a huge water change on it. Um, long story short, the heater on my RO unit broke. So um, the water to refill this tank is colder than what the display tank is at. So I don't want to shock the fish with a completely different temperature. So I probably can only take it down like, I don't know, 30% and then fill it up really slow. But yeah, I'm at a bit of a lost cause with this tank. I was thinking, I never really found that it did a whole lot for me, but I was thinking about just doing uh you know, blackout, turning off the CO2 and the light for quite a while. Dose it with Excel every day. Spot dose maybe some of those bad areas and then just hope that it gets a little bit better in time. Um, some of the other plants are growing nice. Like I haven't trimmed anything because I just want to see things grow and be strong enough. I don't want to trim it and then have algae grow all over it and then it can't regrow back. So that'll be the main event. Um, the 60P over here is pretty much fine. Um, it's kind of cool. It's got quite a lot, a lot of new bulbitis leaves growing out. So hopefully in the next week or two, they'll start growing out too. I have another rhizome there and another one. This pothos, pothos is shooting out a new leaf. Um, I had uh, spilled some, 
disinfertilization and got it spilled on the tank a little bit. But the other only problem with this tank is that there's like a whole slew of limpet snails. I don't know if it's visible. Not, yeah, now you can see it. Not a whole lot that I can do about that, unfortunately. Um, the only other thing, I, I'm still waiting to see some of this green algae get off the, the wood. But it's gotten a lot better over time. So, yeah, this one will mostly be just the water change. Um, I have to kind of pull my resources all together to get this 90p a little bit straightened out. So, yeah, well, hope you all enjoy watching it all unfold. So uh, I took the water down maybe a little bit more than I was anticipating. I want to say the temperature in this tank is about 72 to 73 degrees Fahrenheit. The water downstairs is more like 68 or so. It's not a huge difference, but I still am going to fill this up really slowly to make sure that I'm not startling the fish too much. Um, as far as what I did here. So, you know, I clean the glass off. That's the easy part. Use a toothbrush for the stones. They mostly look pretty decent, but I even tried waving it around the plants to see if I could get some of that algae off, but most of it wasn't budging. Um, I did a lot of spot dose with uh, Seachem XL and uh, just using the syringe to try to um, I don't know, clear out some of the algae perhaps. Um, I haven't noticed it working really with the diatom algae, but um, I thought I'd give it a shot anyway. So I'm gonna fill it back up. I think I'm going to try to keep the light off and the CO2 not running for a while. Um, one thing I forgot to mention before is I actually did clean the filter last week. Um, that was the first thing I did when I saw that the algae was bad, so I don't think that's an issue here, but we'll just try to do a blackout daily water change if I'm able to keep up with that and um, continue dosing the Seachem XL daily as well. Um, yeah, it's kind of rough, but we'll see if I can push through it. Um, this is this kind of thing has happened to me before and sometimes I just kind of give up on the tank and just rescape it. So I really don't want to get to that point. I want to try to work this out. So we'll see. We'll see what I'll be able to do. So while that's filling up, I will um, start working on this tank, which really is just cleaning the glass and um, maybe some of the sand has gotten a little bit green. So I might sift through that a little bit. Um, fortunately, I can't really use any tool to clean off the, the algae on the wood, so I'm just going to kind of leave that be. But yeah, this one should be pretty quick and easy. After that, I'll probably take the water level up and top this tank off since it's kind of, um, the water's evaporated quite a bit. And then um, I think I'll be done for the night.
All right, so I got the tank drained. I'd say about one third or so. I've been trying to do smaller water changes um, as of late. And um, my only regret is I started stirring up the substrate at the very end. And you can see all these particles that are just gonna land back in the sand anyway. So I guess it's best to try to um, you know, use the gravel vac while <laughs> sifting through it. But what I ended up doing as I was changing water was um, doing some culling. So I got a lot of not so nice looking cherry shrimp in there. Um, the shrimp in here have been breeding a lot lately. So there's been a lot of young ones and um, they kind of have mixed colorings on them, I suppose. But just to keep the strain a little bit more colorful and pure. Um, there's some that had to be called. Even this one right here, I really wish I got a hold of him, but I'll start trying to do it weekly or so, so that way I'm keeping the, uh, the strain just right and not letting them become all clear. Um, for these guys, I guess I've been finding that as long as I change water on it, they can actually live in a bucket like this for quite some time, as long as you give them some food to eat. Um, so I might just let them grow out in there and then eventually bring them to a local fish store or something like that. Um, before I, I'm gonna have to wait a while because the, uh, the 90 centimeter is still filling up. You can see I'm filling it up really slowly, um, as I mentioned. So I'll probably give these plants a few spray downs because I don't want them to dry out so easily. But um, yeah, this one's really easy. I mean, if I just did this tank by itself, it'd probably only take like 20 minutes or so. So um, it's a relatively easy day for that one. Um, this one, it's actually looking a little bit nicer now that I did the water change on it. Um, the plants are still looking pretty awful. So maybe I just need to keep up with water changes for the next few days. Um, I have my TDS meter because this is pure RO water coming from my basement. And um, so this has essentially zero TDS. Um, my tap water uh, here in eastern, southeastern Pennsylvania um, is quite hard. So it's, that's why I use RO water for my planted tanks. Looks like we're already clocking it at 114. Usually I like to keep the tanks at about 120 or so. Um, I assume once this is filled up all the way, I'm going to need to add at least some GH+. Plus. Um, I always use uh, I always use salty shrimp and mineral GH+. Plus. And um, you know, a tub like this will probably last me maybe a year or so for all these four tanks that I have. That's pretty good value, although it is quite expensive to get that, but yeah, we'll just have to wait for this one to finish filling up all the way and then fill up the 60p aquarium, top this one off, and then we're done for the night. So that, uh, that wraps up everything for tonight. It's about one o'clock in the morning, which is basically normal for me in terms of finishing maintenance here. So it was probably about, I wanna say, um, two hours or so to get everything done. Um, <clears throat> you can see all the oxygen bubbles after doing the water change, but overall it looks so much nicer. <laughs> right after you do the water change, but I try not to base it off of that and really look more at how it develops over the week. So uh, 
yeah, I think the plan will be to keep this light off. I didn't turn the CO2 back on. I didn't fertilize this tank at all. I'm just going to let it um, be dark for a few days at least, maybe a week or so. Try to get as many water changes in as possible and um, keep dosing the, the Excel every day and hopefully it'll start showing some signs of improvement. Um, at the very least, I can s see some of this algae die off and try to restore this tank because um, it was starting to look absolutely gorgeous right before the algae hit and um, you know so it's pretty frustrating but hopefully it'll start looking nice soon and then um, yeah this tank was real easy I uh, will definitely have to do some trimming I was looking at some old footage of the tank and um, this Ricardia is growing in really well I think it's kind of cool that um, tank like this that just has epiphyte plants is growing relatively quickly and um, I think in pretty short time it's going to be pretty full and lush so um, yeah we'll be looking forward to giving you guys more updates on everything um, I might get one more video out before the holidays but just in case I don't Wish you guys all the best and um, see you guys in the new year perhaps.